in my previous tutorial, we spent about 15 minutes creating a chatbot using Streamlit and DialogueGBT for a conversational AI chatbot. I have some questions about whether this framework can be adopted to work with OpenAI's GBT. So today, I'll be applying the same framework to develop a new chatbot using OpenAI GBT 3.5 Turbo. If you haven't watched my earlier video on setting up a chatbot in under 15 minutes using Streamlit and Dialog GBT, I highly recommend checking it out. With that being said, let's dive in and get started on creating our new chatbot. To work with an OpenAI model, first, you need an API key. To get that API key, let's go to platform.openai.com and then click settings. From here, click API keys and then click create new secret key. Um, from here, you can name it, for example, it depend on your project. My project, I can name it chatbot. GPT and then project is your default project or any kind of projects you have and then hit create secret key. This is very important. You have to hit copy and save it somewhere because let's say the moment that you hit copy and you already said it somewhere and then you click done, the entire key will not be showing here. As you can see, this is just like a partial of the key. So therefore, make sure that you save this somewhere before you click done or else you have to delete it and then create your new secret key. All right, so we have a key. Now, actually, how do we call a model? Let's go to their API reference and see is there any example that we can take. Cool. Here's API reference for the endpoints I would like to get on the chat. And then from here, we can see the multiple example. The default, I believe, is on chat. Let's see. Yes, it's on chat. And we can also work with image streaming, which is kind of cool. But for this purpose, let's work with chat since we need it for our chatbot. What kind of model do I want? GPT-4 always a little bit more expensive than GPT-3.5. So I'm going to go ahead and go with GPT-3.5 Turbo. Um, Python is the language that I want. So this is their example request. Let's see how do we turn this example request to something that can be run together with Streamlit. Let me go ahead and copy this. This is my open AI key. Let me just go ahead and run this first. This is their example request. I just copy and paste, nothing else. So um, they import from open AI, import open AI. So make sure that you have your uh, virtual environment. You have your requirements.txt just for best practice and then do the pip install open AI. Sometimes it may not work, then you may want to check your Python version or you can do open, sorry, pip install upgrade open AI and then restart your kernel and then do it again. So from here, it will not work yet. I need to have open AI key inside of this open AI. And then I make it equal to my defined open AI key here. So then everything look good. You have a messages with the role and the prompt as you are helpful assistant. I actually want to change this a little bit. You have a helpful SEO. Um, engineer from Google um, and then the content I wanted to say help me write a promotion for my shampoo okay let's see what's the result and what's printed here 
Okay, I can see it here. The content is equal to introduction, the ultimate solution for healthy and nourished hair, blah, blah, blah. But then the content when you print out is wrapped by the chat complete message. And then you have a content equal to when you work with a chatbot, you don't need this. You just need the return as the content here. So from here, let's print dot message. Uh, dot content. This is exactly what we want. So when we define a function to return for streamlit to work, we need to return the entire of this because this is going to be our chatbot response. So I create a gpt.py and then I copy my open API key. Then this is my entire code from OpenAI. Then from here, let's write a define function for streamlit to run over the input and then re uh, return the response from the bot. So we need this client. Um, let's put all of this inside the define function where you have a completion and then the role of the user's content. This content will be the input. Like remember when we have a chatbot user put on their input in Streamlit, this input is from users. So we're gonna replace all the content that we had just now with this input. And then this will be a reply that we need a chatbot to return and then we will turn we re will return this reply okay so far everything look good let me go ahead and save this and then go to my streamlit.py where i already from utility import gpt then from here everything should be the same since I have gbt.run prompt is where we have a chat input where we ask user can they type their question here. Now let's go ahead and try and run to see if it's actually run by having streamlit run and then the name of the file. Okay, let's say, um, what is my question? Can you write me a promotion? Because my prom is still, you are an SEO engineer from Google. So can you write me a promotion for my new um, shampoo? Ooh, this look good and it's very fast too. So yeah, this is Streamlit, 15 minutes connect to TBT 3.5 Turbo using OpenAI um, API, get their API key, connect, and then request the model to run from your VS Code. So far, we have used DialogueGBT, OpenAI GBT 3.5 Turbo. And next part, I will get to Llama model where I will be using Olama. Thank you for watching.